Hello YouTube, looks like I am live. So here it is. It's been since before Christmas, since I put up a video. I just have been busy doing stuff and not wanting to film. I don't know what it is, but uh, had a lot going on with the family and um, I've been busy doing stuff. And I shared things on my YouTube, on my uh, Facebook page with what I was doing. Hello, Brenda. Nice to see you here. So I thought tonight I'll just put the camera on and we'll have a little chit chat. And I'll kind of show you what I'm doing around here. Oh, hello, Laura. <laughs> so um, the first thing I was going to do, I had a couple packages come in something I had ordered. Let's see, who else here? Uh, Larisha, Bumblebee, Christy. I wish I had someone to read these for me. <laughs> uh, Christy, Patty, Stella, Nancy, Willow Creek, I'm ready to get dinner, but can't can't stay. I wanted to say hello. Thank you, saying hello. I appreciate that. Uh, Vicky, yes, it is dinner time. I know it's in a uh, not a uh, convenient time for everybody. Shelly, G. Cooper, hello, Dixie Damsel. My goodness, some people I I haven't seen on my live streams before. Mary M. Linda Fiani. Hello, hello, Johanna, August, Rebecca, Ellie, hello. <laughs> and as usual, I'm looking on my seven and a half inch screen mini iPad. Missed you, thank you, honey. That's Shelly. Uh, JD, hello, and Janice. And the print is like itsy witsy bitsy and I can barely see it. And I gotta look out of the bottom of my trifocals here. Most of dinners in the crock pot. Good, Christy. All right. Well, for those of you who are going to sign on as I'm talking, hello, hello. I won't see it. But I had gotten an order in. And I was about to open it, and I thought, well, some people like watching that. So I'll just wait and turn the camera on. You may have noticed I had mentioned on my uh, YouTube page, no, my uh, Facebook page, I think, that I had put in an order for this holler place. And it's kind of like a, a dollar store or five and dime. It, it's kind of low price stuff and I want to try it out. I was impressed with what I saw there. I mean, I could, I got some good deals, but you know, I can hardly remember what I ordered. It was, it takes a while to get here because I think it comes from China or something. Um, yeah, I remember one thing I ordered. I can't remember anything else, so this will be a surprise to me, too. So let me open it up, and we'll see what I got for Holler. And I hope I don't have any personal items in here that I'm going to pull out, because I don't remember what I had. Let me peek. All right, this is what I remembered I got. Canning funnels. Look at All right, this is nice. I got these because I got a couple of them because I wanted to use them either as a giveaway package, you know, with several things in it, or maybe I'll start one of those uh, circulating boxes where you put so much stuff in it and then you send it off to the person on the list and they take stuff out and they put more stuff in and pass it on. Those are fun. Treasure, treasure boxes. This looks nice. I am gonna open it, even though I may pass it on. It's just this outer plastic. Golly, it looks very much just like my bell, my ball canning, canning funnel. This was a dollar on Holler. Just a dollar. It's got the markings here like you see on your canning funnel from a uh, ball. Okay, that's a go. That's a good one. All right, I'm happy with that. I don't know if I got two or three of these because they were so cheap. I thought, oh, I'll get one as an extra for me and then I'll get some to give away. So it must be, oh, here's, I guess two. Here's the other one. Good, good. Alrighty. Well, oh yes, you know I do puzzles if you watch my live stream. And this is a puzzle roll-up. So that's where you can put your puzzle on it and do it. And then you can roll it up and put it away. And it won't be all over your table. And then just unroll it to keep, 
continue doing it. I don't remember how much it was. I want to say $6, but I'm not sure. I'm looking for an invoice here. Oh, look. I got three of those funnels. Okay. Let me see. I got an invoice in here. Nope, I don't. No, I don't see an invoice. That's odd. Anyway, I got the puzzle roll up. I'm happy with it. I haven't seen it yet, but glad I got it. Oh, and I got some war paint. <laughs> war paint to uh, look gorgeous here. All right, you know I like to wear coral. Well, they had this coral gel nail polish. It was cheap. I don't know, buck, two bucks, something like that. So I wanted to try that. It's LA Colors. I know that name. And then, what's this? This is All May uh, Smart Shade Concealer and Brightener. Two tones. All May, that's a uh, hyperallergenic brand because I do have really sensitive skin. And a lipstick. This is more of a red lipstick. High voltage lipstick. I don't know if I'll really wear that or not because I don't go for bright, bright red lips, but we'll see. Maybe I could tone it down with something. Alrighty. What is this? This is really stuck together here. Oh, yeah. This is the French manicure set. I actually like the American manicure, and this looked like it. The American manicure is like the French, except it doesn't have as bright a white, and it has just a, a clear pinkish, reddish tint that goes on your nail. It says French, but to me it looked more like the American. So I ordered that. I think that was $3 for both of those. Yeah, that's pretty cheap. And I got some extra toothbrushes. I think that was one or two dollars for those. And I wanted one of these flexible uh, flippers that has the long blade on it here. And that was super cheap too. And it's red to match my kitchen. So got that. And then they had Mrs. Meyers products. And this is Clean Day Hand Soap. Mrs. Meyers, that's a good brand. All natural, organic type stuff, I think. And then these are glass bowls. It's a full set. They're little. They're not great big bowls, but they come in all these sizes, and they're stackable. And I'm getting to want to stay away from plastic so much, and I want to try glass bowls. So I got that. All right. As far as I can see, I'm really happy with what I got at this. Oh, wait. One more thing. Lip treatment. Tinted. Tinted lip treatment. So it's like a lip gloss with some medication. It's strawberry flavored. All right. So that's what I got from Holler. Now, if you're interested in this, I believe I have a link that will give me maybe a few bucks off and you a few bucks off if you use it. So when this video goes up, I'll post it. I'll post the link with it. And then we'll both get a break if, you, if you're interested. All right. Okay. Happy with Howler. Takes a while to get here. I don't know, maybe two or three weeks. All right. Let me see what everybody's saying here. Uh, let me get back to where I was. Everybody's saying hello. Hello. Okay, I saw that one. Okay. Oh, my sister Jody. Hi, Jody. Jody Malm is my sister. All right, Nancy says her daughter's making stir fry. Mud Pie Girl, hello. I need to order more online, said August. Isn't that great to order online, especially if you get free shipping and the prices are good? What's not to love, you know? Hey there, Susie. Hugs from Sharon. Hello, Sharon. 
Let's see. K. Okay. Wow, a dollar for the canning funnel. Yeah, I had to order those. When I saw that price, I said, woo, that's super duper. Hello, Sandy. War paint. I need that for sure. <laughs> yeah. Every once in a while. You know, you got to at least pretend. Okay. Just know that the gels take longer to dry. Okay. For Christmas, my one of my daughters had asked for a nail dryer for gels. So maybe I'll have to invite her over for a nail party and use that while uh, I'm using my new gel nail polish. Thumbs up, everyone, please, says Allie. That really does help my channel. So you see that thumb? Thumbs up. Go ahead and click it. Thank you. <sighs> racing grandma. Woohoo, racing grandma. I don't know what that means. Date time, Susie. I must have said something, and I don't remember what, and you want to know the date and time of what I was referring to? Ask it again. I don't know what you want. My four youngest, all 20-something, can cook very well from scratch, including breads, yeast breads, etc. That's wonderful. I have one daughter who's particularly domestic, Heidi. Heidi's quite domestic, and uh, she loves doing all that kind of stuff. She works full-time, so it's you know a struggle to be able to fit it all in, come home from work and cook everything from scratch. But, yeah, she does well. Sharon's waving at me. <laughs> Nancy wants some of, the, some of the canning funnels. All right. They're saying hello to my sister, Jody. She's a wonderful sister. I've got two wonderful sisters. I've switched to the glass also, says Margaret. I got the lock lid Pyrex and just love them. I have bought two other brands also in glass, and they're great too. Mary M says, I like those bowls. I'm working on a red kit with ging a, a red kit hen with gingham. Uh, glass is the best. Wow, that's early. You are like my mom. She's retired. I do miss her cooking. Sharon, oh, she's talking to Sharon. Okay, that was Laura. Nancy says, I do once a month type of cooking and freezing. The girls doing desserts and quick cooking. The boys help and cook all the breakfast type things. That works. <laughs> Lipstick, less red. <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> Mary M, thumbs up. And G. Cooper. Is that Cooper or Cosper? Cosper? All right. You're going to look at my eyeball now because I got to read that. Yep, Cosper. G. Cosper likes the glass. Sure, nice to see you again. Glad you are here, says Patricia. I guess she's talking to me. She might be talking to somebody in the chat. We all look, work various schedules, so it makes life interesting. Yep. Can't wait to get my mittens, Mama. <laughs> Jamie, you know what? I have to admit, my husband walked out of the house twice, two days in a row, and forgot to take the envelope. I'm sorry. So I'm really going to get after him to remember to take it tomorrow to mail it on after work. Because uh, it was supposed to have gone out before now. I'm sorry. It's a, it's on its way, though. And J.D. Allison likes the long spatula. I like the contents in that box, says Laura. All right, Cammie's here. If I missed your name, I'm sorry. It's such little print here. It's hard to see everybody. Did you get more wool sweaters? I'm going to show you some of that, too, in a minute. I got some. And they they just cost too much where I'm going. The, the thrift shop I'm going to, when you're using them for crafts, it's hard to have to pay the box. What box? Brighton got, <laughs> Brighton got here late, I guess. Well, uh, Brighton Vlogger, the box was this box. I got a bunch of stuff that I just unboxed. And you're going to have to go back and watch it if you want to see what was in it. When this goes up, this video goes up. All right. 
Jamie, what was in the box? You'll have to go back and watch, Jamie. This this video, this live stream will become a video, and then you can go back and watch it. Cammie's saying hello to all. You got a nice deal on those bowls. Laura Matonic, Matonic says, nice to see me. Nice to have you here, Laura. When in Idaho, our thrift store sells them for $5 each, more than I would like to pay. I'm guessing she's talking either about the funnels or the glass bowls. Oh, oh no, she's talking thrift stores. She's talking about the sweaters. Yeah, the ones I've been getting are like $8, and that's too much. It's just costing too much. Holler! <laughs> says Laura. Listening while working, says Mama Donna from Old Ways News Times. Good evening, Food Forest Permaculture. All right, if I missed you, I'm sorry, but... I'm going to keep going and show you what I got to show you. Wouldn't it be best to buy the sweaters out of season? Well, yeah, but I can't make the mittens now if I buy them next summer. So I have to make, I want to make the mittens now. Maybe she doesn't understand what I'm using them for. I'm using my uh, wool sweaters. I'm shrinking them and making mittens out of them. And I'm going to show you that too. What's for dinner? I think that's supposed to be, what's for, what's for dinner? We had... We had um, grilled peppers and sausage, peppers and sausage sandwiches for dinner. Quick and easy. Yeah, that's true. Some thrift stores don't have them to purchase out of season. They put them away or get rid of them. Alrighty, I'm gonna stop with the reading that now and show you what I've been doing. First, we'll go out and take a look at my now, my house isn't company ready, but take me as I am, folks. All right. Here we are. This is my dining room table. Now, what so I want to mention is that when my husband and I are relaxing at night, many times we want to watch TV, but and we think, oh, it'd be nice to watch something together. But his taste and my taste and what we like to watch can be very different. So more times than not, I end up in the living room watching TV, and he ends up in the bedroom watching TV, and, you know, that's, that's nothing great to be separated like that. So we figured out that with this long dining room table, if he wants to do a puzzle, he could be down there doing a puzzle, and I could be up here doing my mittens, and we have some together time, and that works out pretty well. <laughs> so we're enjoying that. Now, you were asking me about my sweaters. I did find some more. I still need green and light gray. But um, I recently got this one. It's already, I already shrunk it. Because to make the mittens, you shrink the sweaters so the fibers get tighter. And that makes them more water resistant and more fray resistant. And you can cut them and they won't fray. And they're warmer that way when you make the mittens. So I got that one that's kind of a medium gray. I got this one, which is a, a dark gray. That's going to be very nice, especially with reds. I like that. I found this vest. They have to be at least 60% wool. So here's a vest that I'll be cutting up to make mittens out of. Although, my husband was kind of eyeing it, but I'm not going to let him have it. He's got enough sweaters. And I got this light blue one I was really glad to find because I can use this solid with a lot of prints that had light blue in it. So, and you know, it's not like, um, look at, it's got holes in it. They, they were still charged a full price for it, believe it or not. Okay, what's that? Mary, I think she said she has to go. So, bye Mary, thanks for stopping by. So yeah, then I got this print, which I think in mittens might wake up cute. And I can uh, use the light blue sweater when I use this part here. See? Mix and match prints and solids. I'll show you the mittens when I'm done showing you the sweaters. Then I got this print. What do you call that? I can never remember the name of that. Um, argyle. There you go. An argyle print. Brown. Another red. So I did get a couple of red. I was looking for them. And see, look at this. It's all ripped. Originally, they were asking $15 for that thing. I think I got it for either 6 or 8 It's, you know, still too much. 
it's just too much to take in there. Now this is the fleece that I line the mittens with. Works very well, it's very warm. Either the white or the gray. Now you may, if you were looking at my mittens, the ones I had made and was selling, you may recall I had this as one of them. This is one of the sweaters I made mittens from and I can still get a couple more backs to make some more like that out of that piece. These are pieces I've already cut out to use. They're, let's see, these, these are all cuffs. These are gonna be cuffs on the sweaters. So I got those in a bag. And these are odd pieces that I can use to make shapes and uh, do embellishments on the backs of the sweaters. I mean, the backs of the mittens. And I've got a couple of sweaters like this with the seed stitch in it, and they make really nice mittens. But you see, you got they got some damage to them. I just cut around that nice thick sweater. It was much much bigger when I bought it, but when I shrunk it up, it got to be like the size of a large child. Some of them shrink down from an adult extra large to a child's four to six X. So I lose a lot of fabric that way, but it needs to be done to make the mittens nice and warm to shrink them up. Another gray one. So I was able to get some grays. I just need a very light gray. This one might look gray, but it's not. It's more of a tanny, browny, taupey color. And when I mix it with grays, it's not the same. So, but that'll look nice with other colors. And I can, you know, do the fronts of the mittens with this and the backs with a solid. So I did get sweaters. Then I got this one. It's got oranges. So if you're thinking of buying some mittens and you see a sweater, you think, oh, I'd like mittens out of that. You can let me know. And this one. These are all wool sweaters, at least 60% wool. And here I've got... The bottom was, I can make cuffs out of the, the bottom uh, ribbing on pieces of sweater. All right, I guess that's enough for showing you what I got. I also got some pretty pastel -y ones. This one I loved. I, could, I wish I had, this made up so pretty with mittens. And I only got a little tiny bit left that I thought I'd cut flowers out and maybe put them on. So, yeah. Now, over to my workspace. Now, first of all, for those of you who don't know, these are the mittens I'm making. I just made these today. They just went up for sale on my Facebook page. I'm calling them Roy, um, Majesty Mittens because they got kind of a fleur-de-lis up here. These buttons have crowns on them, little silver buttons with crown crowns on them. And it's got a royal red on the back. So I'm calling those Majestic Mittens. And they're up for sale too, $35 a pair. And then I've got this pair with hearts on them and pink buttons. And I really think that this is, um, oh, what's that fancy wool? Cashmere. I'm not going to promise because I don't know for sure, but I think I've, I shrunk this up and I think it's cashmere. It feels really nice. So, and if you want to see them on, There it is on. Let's see if you can get it in the picture there. Okay, then the majestic mitten. Okay, the uh, this one, the hearts mitten. It's a little smaller, so it'd be good for a woman with a smaller hand. It's a little snug getting it on my wrist or a teenager or something like that. But as long as your hands, I mean, I'm a good sized woman and I can put it on. And they do loosen up with a little bit of time. And then I've got this one which I call the V mitten. And I took the, pl the button placket off the sweater and I put a V on it with a hint of the print up here that matches down here. And these are gonna sell for less because the only way I could get the whites on was to have the grain go in two different directions. See, this one goes up and down, this one goes sideways. So if that doesn't bother you, $28 shipped in their ears. But that's the V, the V mittens. And 
I'll call these the pink button heart mittens. And these are the majesty mittens. So that's what I've got made so far. Tomorrow I'll make another one. In my workspace here, this is my buttons. So when I make my mittens up and I go through and I look at the colors in them and I think what color would look look nice on this mitten. And I got all my buttons in here. I got some nice wood grain ones. If someone doesn't like these because of the hearts, if these don't sell, I'm going to take the hearts off and I'm going to take the pink buttons off and I'm going to put a wood grain button on it. And then I think with this rustic color and the topes and pinks in there and a nice uh, wood grain button. It depends what people like, you know. If they like the pink and that, then we'll go for that. Or I can replace those buttons and put something like that or something like that, you know. That's the fun of it is designing the mittens, you know. So also my workspace here. I've got a little scale. I was sent this to review it, and I'm way hopelessly overdue in reviewing it. But I like it, and I will review it. Um, I use this for my postage scale. Works great. I use it when I'm cooking, when I have to measure things by the ounces. It works good. All right. Now, is this... What I've done here is I've made ahead some... Let's see. Are these... All right. This is a match set that I haven't sewn together yet, but some of these I've already sewn together. I think this one. And I just have to make the liners and put the liners in. No, nope, that one's not sewn. This one is. All right, this mitten is already sewn together. And I need to put the liners in and put the cuffs on. And the cuffs will be like that when I make them up. So anyway, that's my mitten factory here. <laughs> Let you know what I've been doing. I think the liners look like this. These are the liners. They're all fleece. So it's two, you're getting two mittens. Every pair of mittens you buy, you're getting four mittens. Because I have to make a whole mitten to go inside the other mitten to line them. Okay. So much for my craftiness here. We'll go back to the kitchen. And I'll take a look at the chat. Sorry if I'm jerking you around here. Alrighty, let's see. Uh, yeah, I saw somebody say Goodwill should give me a discount. You know, I didn't notice the holes till I got home. I probably would have asked them for another discount. Sorry, I have to go. There it is. And watch. I'll watch later. Miss seeing this show. Kitchen should have been... Oh, kitchen. Yeah, I understand her note before. Can't type fast enough. Okay, Glenda. Lady Hawk. Lady Hawk looks like she's last... Oh, I asked a question. She's saying, anyone? Let me go back up and see if I can... Yeah, it's best to find this. My sister says it's best to find the sweaters at rummage sales for a good price. That is true. Is needlepoint or cross stitch easier for complete newbies? Oh, I'll let somebody else answer that. That isn't something I do a lot of. I do it, but not a lot. Okay, when in Idaho, has to go. Goodbye. That's my husband and me. Different taste in TV. Yeah, he likes slash and gurgle and shoot 'em ups and not me. I like sense and sensibility and. Uh, Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. <laughs> All that stuff. <laughs> That's a good idea. He takes the den. I take the bedroom. We get along best that way. <laughs> All right, Mary. All right, Mary's answering Lady Hawk saying cross stitch should be easier. Were you asking about regular cross stitch or counted cross stitch? I was referring to regular cross, cross stitch, right? Okay. 
Yep. Should have asked for a discount. Moth holes. That's one. That one's been put up for a while. Yeah. But they've been washed in hot water and dried in hot in hot dryer too. Be good if you could find men's XXL. Yes. And like I said, some of them, I'm guessing it's the 100% wool kind and not the just 60% wool. Some of them shrink down a lot. So I'm losing all kinds of fabric. My sister Jody told me not to shrink them as much, like to watch them in the washer and dryer and take them out before they're too far gone. So I might do that just enough to tighten up the weave. Let's see, Lisa. Barthrop Glen, I'd love to have a place to leave up my sewing machine. Now, I will have, now we have a full level below this upper level of our house. And my daughter has, Mandy has moved back in, with us, back in with us for about a year while she saves money to buy a house. And so I have a lot of room downstairs that I don't have right now. So eventually I'll get a room for my sewing. A lot of my sewing paraphernalia is still down in the basement, pushed way in the back, and I have to dig for it. All right. Uh, Goodwill would not give a discount if holes. I asked a few times, even if a stain. Wow. Maybe be, maybe if they're wool sweaters, it's because they know crafters are using them and they're in demand now. I want that taupe sweater to wear. <laughs> oh, it's my sister. Now I'm going to have to send it to her. You know, it's my sister. <laughs> hey, Stella. Food forest. Saying hello to each other. Tracy Ace, your Christmas gift I sent you got returned, question mark. I'm not sure why. It's pretty smushed, though, so I'll have to find something else for you, hon. Oh, Tracy, don't feel obligated, please, really. It's sweet that you sent me something. I had no idea. Uh... Or maybe you were one of the ones that did tell me you were sending me a little something. That's so sweet. I like the pastels. Uh-huh. Thank you, Mary. I'll give it a try. Any ideas? Best place to start up supplies for, yeah, for cross-stitch. Put one on so we can see. Oh, I did. Okay. <laughs> I love those majestic mittens. Yeah, I like those too. Love the heart ones. Okay, now see, there's somebody who likes the heart. So I'll leave them up for a while to sell with the hearts on them. But if it doesn't sell, then the hearts are coming off and I'll do something else with them. Super cute, beautiful, pretty. Looks fantastic, bandana grandma. Evening from Hope's Homestead. Hello, Cherish. I can't wait to get my pears and t-shirt. Yes, as soon as I get your mail. Uh, I've got it in there. It's all boxed up and ready to go, Laura. Laura ordered a bandana grandma t-shirt and two um, pairs of mittens. So I've got them all boxed up and ready to go and her payment's on the way and as soon as I get it, they're out of here. <laughs> Those are pretty, says Cherish. Thank you, Cherish. What is the link? I would like the heart mittens. Oh, okay. Um, just go to Susie Bandana on Facebook. It's Susie, S-U-S-I-E, Ban, B-A-N, and a space, and then Dana, D-A-N-A. It's the only way they'd let me write it in. And if you go to my Facebook page, Susie Bandana, uh, I'm posting them there, and you can tell me you want the mittens. And uh, if you got PayPal, you can PayPal to me tonight, and I'll get them shipped out tomorrow when I send the other ones. Let's see, bandana, can you make Allie a pink pair? If I find a pink sweater, I can. You mean all pink? You know, figure out what she'd really like because I want, you know, I want to do whatever she would like. It's fun to see the designs you come up with. That is fun to do, too. I'm really enjoying it. Have you crocheted any? Yes, I have crocheted. Um, I've crocheted mittens and I've crocheted fingerless mittens and uh, dragon fingerless mittens that have like the, the uh, scallops, scallops uh, scales on them. My daughter Mandy wanted a pair of those and I made those for her. Yes, 
like the video. This is the Facebook link. Oh, Sharon, you are on it, girl. Hit the bell and thumbs up. Yes, thank you. That means uh, you will get notified every time I put up a live stream or every time I put up a new video. All right. Hit the like button, button and subscribe. Thank you, Sharon. Okay, uh, looks like the heart mittens might be getting sold. Let me see who that was again so I know she's got first dibs if I get more than one call on it. Uh, where is it? Well, G. Cosper. Alrighty. Uh-oh, no, Vicky. Vicky, Vicky is the uh, one saying she wanted the link to get them. Well, I'll tell you what, when I go to the Facebook page, whoever said it first there, and uh, we'll, we'll talk about my, if you're going to do PayPal, I'll give you my email and uh, we'll do it that way and then they can go out tomorrow. Okay. Uh, Susie, I'd like to buy the ones you just showed in that bucket with the print. Oh, let me see. The ones you showed in the bucket with the print. Let me get them and see if I know what you're talking about. Laura, did you mean these? These are the ones in the glass bucket with the print. You can e email me, Laura. Have you crocheted any? I answered that. Okay. Bandana Grandma, on Facebook, it won't let me post the link. Okay, after this is up, I'll post the links below. So um, right now, this is a live video, but after I sign off, it will go into a regular video, and then I can put links in there. Bandana, I'll Gmail you. Good, JD. Poland, we love you. Woo! <laughs> well, you know what, Poland? Our last name ends in S-K-I. <laughs> so, uh, we love you, too. Mr. Rencho. Poland, we love... Or maybe they're talking to somebody in here who's got a name Poland. I don't know. I don't know how to read that. Hi, Sandy. Seven Brides for Seven Brothers is my all-time favorite, says Brenda. Me too. I love it. <laughs> I watch it all, many times, like three times a year, I think. Greetings from Poland. Oh, okay. He was talking there to Pi. Okay, I'm not even... Pi Truck... Hi. <laughs> Hi, Poland. <laughs> Okay, thumbs up, please, says Allie. Pink with hearts. Yes. Oh, Allie Oakley. Pink with hearts. Email me, Allie. I don't, you mean the ones I've already made? You want me to make you some? Which is your time? What time is it here? It is about 6.37 p.m. at night. In Poland, it's 032. What's that? Just after midnight? Are you still selling the t-shirts? Yes. Um, I could go get them now and show them to you. You should do crochet tutorials. No, my sister Jody should do cro crochet tutorials. She is the best. And uh, she started doing them. I mean, she sent me a sample of a crochet video she was making. She isn't real confident, but uh, neither was I when I started doing videos. So I think we should all encourage Jody to do crochet videos. I may do a few. You know, I'm, I could crochet, and I can show simple stuff. But, um, you know, well, you've seen my ponchos. You know, those are nice. I could, I could show some things. But Jody is really good. All right. Bye for now. I need to fix some supper, says Margaret. She's probably gone, but bye, Margaret. And Carlene says, howdy, y'all. 
bandana, any mittens, JD gets from you. I love them. Oh, <laughs> okay. Food forest permaculture says hello to Carlene. Vicki, they are yours. Okay. Well, we'll just see who posts first after this goes up. If nobody does, I'll just go ahead and give them to Vicki. Let her buy them. All right. Yes, Susie. Oh, that means she. those must be the mittens she wanted. Okay, we'll look into that. Jatan says, hi. Hello, Jatan. I hope... People are getting better at your house. I know you've had a lot of illness there with your little girl and even yourself. Okay. What do you think of The Simpsons? I don't watch them. Um, I don't watch a lot of TV. I'm usually watching old movies and I've got YouTube on and I don't watch a lot of that stuff. Sorry. <laughs> Mary Cleveland. Gotta run. Catch you later. Bye, Mary. Harmony Homestead. Hello, hello. Thank you, Allie, for being on it. Grandma, I can't find the heart mittens on Facebook. Uh, under Susie Bandana? All right. We'll, we'll touch base after the video. I'm doing well, Jatan. Thank you. I'm going to sleep, says Mr. Ran Rancho. The student greets from Polish... Tomorrow, I have an exam. Good luck. All right. Thank you, Allie, for being my moderator. Have a blessed night. Have to go to dinner. Bye, Donna. Old ways, of new times. Okay. Food for Miss Poldis. Okay. Okay. Oh, your son is not keeping anything down now. Oh, that's I'm so sorry, Jatan. Okay, Vicky sent me an email with her address. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, the other thing I'm doing tonight. Oh, I have another unboxing. This was a Christmas present I have yet to open. And Allie, you're gonna be interested in this. I don't know if you're still there or not. Yes, yeah, she is. She's still fighting the trolls. Okay. Christmas present I got was one of these power air fryers. And I haven't used it yet. I've been wanting one of these. They're supposed to be good for dieting because you can get crispy texture on foods like it's fried, but it's not fried. There's, you don't use only maybe a spray of oil. Let's see if I can get it out of here. Now the kids got it for me for Christmas, and they apologized that they couldn't get red <laughs> because they know I like red stuff. But I can do with the black. It's all right. So here's my power air fryer. And I don't even. It hasn't even been opened up yet. So I don't even know. I don't want to break anything. Caution, take care. All right. So I won't open it up now, but just wanted to show you, especially Allie, because she and I have been talking about me getting one of these. And it's the bigger one. It's uh, XL. I think it's five point some odd quarts. So it should make more than the ones that everyone say end up being too small. So the other thing I'm doing tonight is I've already canned a bunch of apples and I'm going to can some more. Now I got these apples here. These are the leftover remnants and there's quite a few that have got bad spots on them that I'm going to cut out and can up the good parts. Some of them are perfectly fine. Um, I was so fortunate that friends of ours were given a lot of apples from Trader Joe's. These are all organic apples. And there's uh, Pink Ladies and Gala and Honeycrisp and uh, Fuji, there were all kinds. I've already done up five quarts and I've already washed these and put them here to dry. 
And so these were the, the ones at the end, the ones that had some blemishes. But oops, that one's going to have a few more blemishes. <laughs> yeah. All right, so let me show you this gizmo over here. This was last year's Christmas present from my kids. They got me this uh, peeler, corer thing for my KitchenAid. And it also does spiral. So we'll see if I can figure out how to do this. Get you close enough to see. We'll just do one apple. And then I'll probably be getting off. Okay, so you stick the apple on here. Like that. No, you can get the simple ones, and they're perfectly fine, but the kids got me this for my KitchenAid. And you put that there. Am I plugged in? Yes, so I'm plugged in. All right. Now, here's the cutting thing here. That goes up against the apple and cuts it. And then this thing slices it and spiralizes it while it cuts, while it peels it. And there it goes. Peeling the apple. And you can speed it up. And it's spiralizing, cutting it. You know what? It's not peeling too well. I'm going to have to adjust it. Sometimes that happens. It could be the apple was just too small. See the peel still on it? That's not good. So I need to take a... Uh, just a minute. I get a knife. I'll just peel it this way for now, and then I'll readjust it so it cuts a little deeper on the smaller ones and gets the peels off. So that was a that was a bust. That didn't work. Not the best example. All right, then you just if you got any bad spots, you just take those out and cut it up the middle, and you have apple slices. You probably didn't see a thing I just did. Sorry. So, got apple slices, and I'll put these in lemon water and hold them. Mmm, good apple. While I do all those. But you don't have to stay to watch that. Because I'm going to be canning them, and that takes a long time. All right. I'm going to take a look at. Not hard enough. Maybe. Maybe that's it. All right. Let me go back to where I left off. There we are. Was your time tell me about her son? Allie, I hope I'm not. I hope I'm not keeping you from dinner by having to bust my trolls. <laughs> All right. Great. Allie, you're doing wonderful for me. Thank you. Oh, okay. Jody, my sister Jody wanted to know if I used my air fryer yet because she wants to buy one, but not until I tell her how it is. Nope, haven't. Maybe tomorrow, Joj. I love the texture of fried food, but not the grease. Yeah, that's so true. Mmm, apples look delicious. They are good, even though there's a lot that are bruised that are left here. The other ones were not bruised, and I had tons of them. But applesauce time. Yep, can do that too. Let's see, I'm doing LCHF diet, so no. So I think an air fryer would be nice. Yep, low-cal, high-fat. Yep. I, well, is that what that means? Low-cal, high-fat? Low, I don't know. Because those keto diets are high fat. That's why I'm saying that. Okay. Stella loves her air fryer. Good night, permaculture. Cool apple thingy. <laughs> grandmother. Christy says her mother used, grandmother used to make wonderful apple butter. I made that last year. A lot of people love apple butter. Okay, Isabel's asking how Jen's doing. My daughter Jen had a spine surgery, neck surgery, and then spine surgery. And right after the spine surgery, which was pretty serious stuff, 
she got an infection around way deep in the, we think the hardware they put in was infected and they had to go right in and take all the hardware out again and the surgery was hard enough without having that having to happen so they had to take the hardware out so that left her unsupported there with this graft of bone that they replaced in there and she's had a systemic infection because of that on antibiotics she's got a pick line at home in a hospital bed and she just got a stomach virus and migraines and yesterday was her birthday and she could use your prayers so please pray for my daughter Jen we need her to get feeling better real soon and to be healed and have the infection gone and her spine healed and uh, mobility back so she can be active again so thank you for asking and thank you for those who pray for remembering my Jen <laughs> Katie says she likes my live chats. Thank you, hon. All right. Praying for Jen. Thank you, Jatan. Yes, it is pretty sad. She she's been through the ringer, you know. But we're we're trusting she's gonna come out on the other side and she's gonna rise like the phoenix from the fire and do better. Okay. Thank you, Isabel. All right, looks like we got trolls in here that Allie's battling. So, um, pray for her all the time. Thank you, Lisa. All righty, unless there are some questions, I think I'll go. Um, I still have that 3,000 subscriber giveaway to hold. I've been putting it off and putting it off and I need to do it. I've got some wonderful prizes on there that people have donated. So I need to make a video where I list all those prizes, show them, and then tell you what you need to do to enter the giveaway. And it has to do with me paying it forward because I hit 3,000 subscribers. Instead of having you go and share one of my videos to further my channel, I'm going to pick a a few channels smaller than me and ask all my subscribers to go and subscribe to those channels and that will be me paying it forward so uh, be watching for that that's going to be the um, the rules of for joining the giveaway and then you'll have we've got lovely prizes that people have donated and uh, we'll be listing those I think you'll be excited so alrighty giveaway yay <laughs> Yeah, and my mittens, there's a pair of mittens going to be in the giveaway, too. And my daughter, Jen, who's a photographer, has donated uh, one of her prints, any print on her site. If you want to look at her site, it's jlgould, J-O-U-L-D dot com, jlgould dot com. And she has beautiful photography there, and she's donating a print of any print you want that will work up. Don't quote me verbatim. I think it's 8 by 13 that right around that size or if that size is too small you can take what that print costs I'm not going to quote how much but it you'll be, take the amount that that would be worth and apply it toward a bigger one she's going to be doing that and then someone else is donating um, uh, Janet from uh, Timber Timber Acres Timber Timber Creek Farms is donating fingerless mittens that, were, that was made from the wool that she raised and dyed and spun herself. Lovely fingerless mittens. And um, Ma Mama Donna from New Ways Old Times, or Old Times New Ways, she's donating an apron that she made. Um, Coco Noel is donating hand-knitted Christmas stockings for next year that, are, that have the name on them and pictures on it. There's all kinds of wonderful things being donated. And Tara from... Living on a Dime is donating one of her Dining on a Dime cookbooks. So there's lots and lots of good prizes coming up. So thank you all for being here. I'm signing off now. God bless you all. And hopefully I'll be making videos again and doing some more live streams soon. I've just been dragging my feet lately. So thanks for your prayers. Bye, all.